Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. See, I don't know why the, 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 the devil keeps trying to attack me because anytime he does, I'm going to turn it against him and warn everybody what to look out for. Now, look at this. Another thing to watch for if you're a dreamer. When you start to doze and the dream begins and you see weird looking, inhuman eyes looking at you, weird looking creatures with a weird smile or grimace or a weird body shape or something weird about the hair or whatever. Wake yourself up. If you feel somebody trying to tongue kiss you or feel your body parts, wake yourself up. Now I'm telling you this because see some of you who are really trying to live a holy lifestyle, you're not giving in. You may be hot-blooded. You may be cold-blooded. It doesn't matter. But if there are any sexual temptations to be had, the demons will try to do that to you through touching and stimulating areas in your body. And, and it'll be like you're under a drug and you, you can't see who's doing this to you and you're trying to figure it out. And they'll tell you, oh, I'm your friend or I'm a friend, or I'm this, or I'm that. No, you stop that. You wake yourself up. Because what they're trying to do is stimulate something so that they can come in and start working through temptations. See, they try to, if they can't get you one way, they're going to try to get you another way. That's the bottom line. One of my friends said that when we were in a conversation, as she was talking about how they work with her mind when she's awake and they totally try to manipulate her thoughts and she has to constantly grab control. Well, listen, they deal with you when you're asleep too. That's when my biggest battle begins is in my dream world. So you, you see, you have to be very aware. See, that's, I think that's the problem with the media. We have so much TV, so many movies, so many forms of entertainment that are, for the most part, controlled by the demonic, that we are dummied down and we don't suspect that there is a scheme, a strategy out to get us. We don't really see it. So we think, oh, you know, these folks are just being a little on the paranoid side. Demons are real. The devil is real. All this stuff that God calls an abomination, it is evil. It's not nice. It doesn't have a Christian side to it. Yoga, witchcraft, Wicca, New Age, crystals. The crystal ball, incantations, levitations, all of these, the Ouija board, tarot cards, all of this stuff. It is an abomination. It is not only sin, it's an abomination. It is evil. It is cursed. And if you have anything around your house, your yard, your garage, get rid of it. I don't care how much it meant to grandma so-and-so. Get rid of that bad boy. There are people that I talk to now who are fighting demons in their house, attacking their kids, attacking their family members, attacking them because of cursed things that are allowed through some family member that's working witchcraft, that's doing underhanded stuff. You got to be aware, awake and asleep. You got to know what you're dealing with. And you can't handle a demon with a, a kid glove. No. You got to drive that sucker out with you all the hatred you can muster up. That's what you call righteous indignation. You fight in the name of Jesus. You fight in the power of God's might. You have the weapons of warfare, the helmet of salvation, the garment of praise, the shield of faith. Shoes uh, uh, girded with the preparation of the gospel of peace. With the, uh, the loins girded about with truth. 
You've got to use the weapons of warfare, the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. Cut them suckers to smithereens. Don't play with them. They're not your friend. They're not some, some enticing entity to toy with and explore. You better leave your curiosity to the, you better leave that crap alone. That's the bottom line. I'm not trying to be dramatic. That's, I mean, it's just too many people. There are too many born again Christians playing with stuff, dabbling and toying and tinkering out of curiosity because God doesn't move fast enough for them. They want their own power. Don't be a fool. Please.